Alright, I am here at Sam Ash. Seems a little different than the one that I was at. But anyway, this is one of the stores that will be closing, so I'm going to go inside and check out the gear and see what they have. Sorry guys, I had to mute the music here, and you know why. I just do not want to run into any trouble for background music playing that I have no control over. I will say the base section in this store up in Manhattan is night and day from the one down in Atlanta. They've pretty much run out of all types of gear there, but still they have quite a bit well, over still here. Have quite a bit at this location. And I'm gonna check some of the stuff out. I'm gonna go on and show you this base here. I apologize for the reflection, but I guarantee you, or I can promise you, that this is a beautiful Sterling by Music Man bass. Look at that. You know what, I'll tell you what, I'll do a close up of it. But right now, I am playing through a Heart Key Kickback KB15. As always, I have this bass EQ'd with these three in the middle and the volume, of course, turned all the way up. On the heart key, I have every single knob turned to the 12 o'clock position and the volume is on one. This is the first time I've ever noticed this, but if you look closely, you'll see that I'm going to give you clo better close-ups of it. Very, very cool. It's all, it's too bad that I have the bases that I have right now because I would totally add this to the collection. It's got a roasted maple neck with a rosewood, rosewood fingerboard and it, it plays great. Slightly stingray, so. Let me give you my thoughts. That demo of the Sterling by Music Man Stingray, double H, it did not go well. By the way, the bass plays great. I've never seen another one like it as far as the look and the finish on it. It's really a good looking instrument. But there's a lot of apathy in there, you know. Some of the customers weren't too friendly and some of them were giving them hard times. I mean, it's New York City and it's just a little bit crazy out here, right? But overall, my opinion, of this store closing as long as they keep that other store open which i'm going to go and check out right now and see what's going on with that as long as they keep that store open i just don't really see a problem here in manhattan i understand that there are a lot of people who come into these stores and they act up and they're kind of a little bit crazy and i could tell that a lot of the staff were they were stressed out because of that i totally get that but they also need to be able to you know, they need to be able to tell the difference between someone who's coming in there and is a potential customer for them versus like someone who's just like coming in there and rambling around and messing with the equipment and everything. And also in past videos, I've, I've kind of crossed up Sam Ash and Guitar Center and I apologize for that. 
but I'm totally talking about Sam Ash right now. I'm not talking about Guitar Center. I'm talking about up here, this particular store, even though it's too late now and they're closing, and I understand, I totally get it, and my heart goes out to all the employees in there who've lost their jobs and they gotta go find a job somewhere else. I real, I'm, I'm being dead honest with you. I totally feel for you guys. I, I don't even have words for it, like really. I, I just see the way this world is now and it's just, it's really depressing to see people losing their jobs, people who are in that world, in the music world, it's tough enough as it is, to see them lose their jobs is, is totally heartbreaking. But at the same time, when I come in there and I'm trying to like play instruments or demo stuff, or even if I just walk in there, I don't want to hear a bunch of BS pop music over the PA. Like it's really frustrating. And I was gonna say that last time, I guess it doesn't matter because they're closing and I don't mean to kick them when they're down, but one thing that other music stores should learn from them is don't play a bunch of crap music over the PA. Get used to hearing, because there was a guy in there playing guitar, and I mean, man, he was completely out of tune, and, and all the other employees in the store, I, I made eye contact with him as he's playing. I don't know if they were trying to get rid of him or run him off, but after a while, they turned on all this pop music, and I don't want to hear Beyonce. Like, when I first walked in the store, they were playing Modest Mouse. I was cool with that, because I love Modest Mouse. But I don't want to hear any, like, top 40, you know, 2024 pop music. I don't want to hear it. I'm sorry, I just don't. I don't like it, and I don't want to hear it when I go in a music store. I want to hear good music that where the there's musicians in there playing. I, I don't want to have this argument with anyone right now about like who's playing with Beyonce or anybody else. I don't give a shit, seriously. I mean, I just, I don't care. I'm just venting right now, but that's something that they really, that really hurts that store. You know, that really hurts the store bad. But once again, it's sad to know that that's the last time I'm gonna go in that store. I would lo I'd love to see it again when I come up here. I think competition's a good thing, but there's some other music stores out here and I'm gonna check them out. But my time is very limited while I'm here on this trip.